Okay, so then just need to put this in the oil press. Squeeze any oil out of it to re-filter and use. This is, we'll have a lot of water in this. So, I'm going to start by simply putting a small hole in the bottom to drain out. Perfect! First try. just to make sure it doesn't trap oil underneath it. I do this with the... Okay, so that just goes in the bottom. I'm going to put it in there in that direction. And that's just for a spacer so that the oil can go down the hole. Next, let's take the strip of paper towel and roll it real tight. keep it as even as possible so that it stays as a disc. Okay, now that it's big enough, I should be able to do it like this. It should help keep it lined up. Oh, that's nice now that it's big enough. Again, keeping it nice and snug. So keeping pressure on it so it doesn't get loose. Bigger, check. Uh, oh, it's bigger than the bottom, so this is actually getting close because I want it to be able to stuff down till almost the bottom. So I'm going to leave it attached, fold it upward a little bit, keeping it tight, putting a rubber band around it to keep it snug. Not a real tight rubber band, but it has been. Okay, so not quite tight enough yet, so a few more wraps, but it's getting pretty close. Okay, that's close. I thought I was going to need the entire thing. Okay, let's check again. Looks like that really could be it now. Ah, that's that feels right. Because it's snug already, but I should be able to squish it down in there. The bottom of it went to here, you can see through the plastic, and since it's that wide. When I squish it, 
it's going to make it down near the bottom when the top is the width of that. So that is just right. So I'll take it apart at the next seam, put that underneath it, make sure this is face down, and again that's just a little spacer for the top of that. Okay, push this in, nice and straight down and snug. Okay, and you can see, well, you can't see, I can see through the plastic and see the dark line of the shadow of it, so I can tell the, the paper towel roll is right there. And you could measure it to make sure you've got it the right distance. So if I line this up here, where the paper towel is, I've got the space at the bottom where the cap is. Now, the top layer. So I've got three little pieces of the paper towel, the short pieces. Just fold them and fold them again. Now I've got six layers. This piece is just about the size of the top of the paper towel roll. So I'm going to use that as a pattern and trace around it. And usually I put staples in the corner so that they stay in alignment and then cut this out. So I'll try to be pretty careful with the pushing it. Okay, so I've cut the discs and I just push them right on top. And that's the filter. Been using this for three years. Been using the same one for three years. And the oil comes out just crystal clear out of the bottom. It still has the yellowish color, of course, after it's been used. But it takes care of all the water, all the sediment, and it comes out just crystal clear.